Hey Taurus, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. Yay. Here is a November reading-ish. You know, I just hate to label them, but for the sake of everybody out there, this is a reading for November for the sign of Taurus as a collective, right? Um, never, ever, ever make life altering decisions off of a purse, off of a personal, off of a, a general tarot card reading. Don't do that. That's foolish. Don't do that. Um, if you need help, confirmation, understanding, wisdom, or guidance, contact your favorite tarot card reader. If that should be me, my link is in the box below. Deep thoughts with Dana.com. All right, Taurus, what the hell's going on here, man? The Taurus tribe. All right. Taurus, what's going on? Let's see. So you enter this reading in in the Six of Swords, right? In the past, there was a regretful but necessary transition that you had to make. Why? Well, because your feelings, wishes fulfilled, and averting disaster, okay? So this tells me that something went on, Taurus, in the past where you felt it was necessary to leave to protect your feelings because here's your feelings with the King of Cups, right? Your love for somebody, their love for you maybe. This is general. You can switch it around any way that you want to because... Out of millions and millions of Tauruses, there's no way. I mean, what are the odds that I'm actually connecting with you, right? So you help me here because this is a general reading and you just kind of put things where they need to go within reason. Don't go getting all crazy and recreating the whole reading, right? But you'll know what it is that I'm talking about. A bazillion different people will know what it is I'm talking about because it's all different for you. That's why you're on your own personal journey and that's why this is a general reading, okay? So so in the past, right, you've left. Your feelings were at stake, wishes fulfilled. Whatever it was that you left was something that you had a lot of feelings for, maybe even love for. You saw it as wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. But you also saw it as averting disaster, right? So you left something, and I'm going to say it's someone, okay, because I can see the cards here in front of me. You left someone that you loved very much that you think is amazing to protect yourself, to protect yourself with the, the averting disaster, with the tower in reverse, okay? So that's the gist of it. You left somebody that you loved very much. You thought they were amazing, but you had to protect yourself, so you left. Whatever that means. But now we have the Three of Cups. This is reunion. That's what's on the table. Reunion. So you, you left this person to protect yourself, perhaps to protect them for some reason, okay? But you left out of protection, and now there's reunion and celebration on the table. However, this reunion and this celebration is tainted by a big, huge loss with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. A big, huge loss, right? Huge loss because of another person, this Queen of Wands. This is my other woman, okay? My other, my other person it doesn't have to be another woman, okay? It's my, it is a, a seductive feminine energy that lures people away, right? It takes two to tango, make no mistake. You know, if you follow the Queen of Wands, you're just as guilty as the Queen of Wands. But nevertheless, she's a temptress, right? And I'm not saying that your person was tempted by this Queen of Wands, but it just so happens that she was yummy and for whatever reason, you took a big loss because of this Queen of Wands, right? But now there is reunion on the table, reuniting, getting together, celebrating, talking about old times, okay? That's what's on the table. And that's probably why you left. You know what? I'm picking this up right here, Taurus. Picking this up, okay? 
maybe you left. It's a regretful, right? But necessary transition. Maybe you left to protect yourself because you have so much love for this person that you thought if that's what you want have at it and i hope you're happy right because i mean who wants to hold on to somebody that doesn't want them right i mean that's ridiculous i don't understand that right when somebody when you love somebody and they're supposed to love you back right not supposed to but supposedly love you back right and then that person does s that person wants someone else i mean what else can you do besides besides leave right and be like bro that's what you want that's what you got but i'm out all the way out not just kind of out not just one foot out the door out but all the way out right so i feel like that's what hold on i dropped a card that's what i feel like what's going on here right is that this person got sweet on someone else and this Taurus that I'm connecting with um, left with their heart broken and just just left just just left maybe not even any kind of explanation just left Okay, that's what I get. It might not apply to everybody, but definitely somebody out there is feeling that for sure. I can tell you for sure. Somebody's out there feeling that, right? So celebration is on the table. Celebration's on the table, right? But all you can think about is the big loss that you took with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse because of a Queen of Wands character, okay? Next card out, Queen of Cups. Your feelings, right? Your feelings. You loved this person you still love this person you love this person right what happened what happened is queen of cups clarified by the queen of cups love double portion of love double scoop of double love right here right double feels and there was a lost opportunity and things came to a terrible tragic end that's what happened, right? That's what happened. So you're in your feels, right? This Queen of Wands comes along. Your person goes, hmm, done, done, out, right? Leave, averting disaster with the tower, done. This Taurus was extremely prudent in their decision-making process. And um, I don't even think it was a drama thing. I think it was just like, Psst, nope not having it right so in your feels with the queen of cups double in your feels with the queen of cups again lost opportunity with the ace of pentacles in reverse and a very painful ending with the ten of swords but now right now reunion is on the table reunion right it's a challenge for you it's a seven of wands. It, it's a challenge. You feel self-protective and you feel challenged, right? Because this queen of pentacles, you abandoned ship with the eight of cups. Abandonment. You abandoned ship. You jumped ship. You're, you're out, right? That's what happened. That's what happened. It's a challenge for you now with the reuniting thing, right? Ten of swords in reverse this is the resurrection of what was dead so this person comes in and they want to reunite and they want to recover the relationship knight of wands in reverse though right knight of wands in reverse this is um this is energy of not wanting to do it hesitancy um what's the word i'm looking for anyway not 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 charging in right you're like whoa hold up here what exactly are you talking about right what they're talking about is the star card hope faith purpose renewal that's what's on the table that's what they're talking about king of pentacles you 
Taurus are pissed off with the King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> you are. You're still hot, you're still salty, and you're still pissed off about this person's disregard for your value. Okay? The Three of Wands. Now, normally this Three of Wands is about preparation, foresight, expansion, but I really think in this placement that this Three of Wands is just reiterating how pissed off you are because the back is turned, right? Well, you're not the King of Pentacles. The back is turned, and it's just, it's just telling me that you just, again, reiterating, you just left. You just turned your back and went about your business, right? And that's you. To the Page of Pentacles in reverse, manifested nothing. Nothing ain't shit being manifested in this situation by you, right? Because Ace of Wands in reverse. A complete and total lack of motivation. To the Hierophant in reverse. Because your personal beliefs to the Three of Pentacles in reverse is that there will be, there, there, there can't be teamwork and collaboration. This is also a disregard for skills, right? You didn't appreciate me the first time around why you think I'm why you think I'm gonna let you unappreciate me the second time around to the devil in reverse limiting beliefs these limiting beliefs the limiting beliefs that there these beliefs are limiting right the way that you feel Taurus there's just no chance of teamwork and collaboration in this situation I don't have a motivation I have I have a lack of motivation I have my back turned to you right I am pissed off and I am the king of pentacles right and I'm not having none of it not I'm not having none of it my my limiting beliefs it are the fact that that there's la lack of teamwork and collaboration is the limiting issue here right and the five of wands comes in and talks about conflict tension strife and competition seven of swords in reverse seven of swords upright be betrayal deception shady behavior right just all around just kind of fucked up behavior in the reverse it's about breaking free from that behavior but it's clarified by the hangman in reverse which is resistance and stalling right so what these two cards say is that when it comes to breaking free of the mental challenges associated with past behavior you are resilient <laughs> resilient resistant you're resilient too, but you're resistant to do that. You just, you just, you just like, no, man, once it, you know, once a snake, always a snake, right? I knew you were a snake, but I pet you anyway, and you bit me. Anyway, two of cups in the center of your reading, um, a, a broke up, a broke up, a breakup, a broken relationship, a misalignment of values. Did you guys see that thing flying? I just caught it in the camera. Did you guys see that like a second ago? There was just like this, huh? Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, two of cups, broken relationship, a misalignment of values in the center of your reading, right? Hurt you so bad with the nine of swords in reverse. Hurt you so bad, right? Hopeless, hurt you bad. Death in reverse. But there's been a personal transformation. Did you see that again? Did you guys just see that? There is nothing floating around in the air here. Nothing. Did you see that? <laughs> right in the comment box if I'm crazy. But I just saw it go across the screen again. Maybe I am losing my shit. Oh my God, Taurus. Death in reverse. There has been a personal transformation here. There has been. There's been a personal transformation that brings us to the Ten of Cups. Harmony, happiness, values alignment, committed relationship, right? I'm gonna ask, Spirit, whose tr personal transformation, how does Taurus go from resisting to having a personal transformation? Or is this gonna be answered later on here? How does Taurus, it, what, what, what is this personal transformation about right here? Whoa. Whoa. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, wow. All right. Okay, personal transformation. Let me get let me let me wrap my head around this. Let me wrap my head around this. King of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. The star. What is the transition from resistance to the personal transformation? King of Wands in reverse, high expectations, ruthless narcissist. Progress. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I see exactly what's going on here. Uh, uh, two wands. Pitch cup star. Okay. I got it. So what is the transition? How does Taurus go from not being able to break free of the bullshit from the past to being completely and totally heartbroken, hopeless, heartbroken, bad, to having a personal transformation with the Ten of Cups on their mind. How does it happen? This is what they say. So what happened is the King of Wands in reverse the, 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 he's a dick. I mean, the, the King of Wands in reverse is a dick. He's the classic narcissist, right? He's arrogant. He's self-centered. He's insecure. He's jealous. He is uh, uh, a win at all costs. He reminds me of the Seven of Swords, kind of, this King of Wands in reverse kind of guy, right? Um, so this dickhead from the past, the person who broke your heart, okay? This person from the past tells you that they overcommitted, they overinvested, overinvested in this original Queen of Wands up here, right? Overinvested in this Queen of Wands, right? Overinvested in this Queen of Wands and Queen of Wands turned upside down into the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, According to this person, this Queen of Wands is cray cray. She's crazy. She's nuts. She's insane. I, did, I don't even know what I was thinking. That kind of thing, right? That, that kind of thing, right? Or, yeah, that kind of thing, right? So, King of Wands dickhead tells you that he made a mistake. He overinvested in this queen of wands and it turned sour and now they want now they're looking into the future and they want to make some progress with you page of cups they this is a message of creation they want to create something again with you and they want hope faith purpose and renewal in the relationship so that's how you go from being resistant to having a transformation and thinking about the Ten of Cups. Okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Disregard for skills. Okay. Disregard for skills. To the Four of Wands in reverse. A transition. Oh, let me show you. Three of Pentacles in reverse to the four of wands in reverse right disregard for skills transition what is this about well broski tells you all that right or or sis tells you all that right they want to come out of spiritual poverty with you okay they apologize i'm sure you guys have some kind of heart to heart type of talk right they want to come out of spiritual poverty with you they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They want to take a new journey. They want to take a quantum leap. They want a new beginning with you. Who does? Dickhead from the past. King of Wands in reverse, right? He does. He, 
because it is a king of wands in reverse put it where you want it okay i don't give a shit what it means to you but it is a king of wands in reverse this dickhead from the past wants to reunite and reconcile and wants forgiveness with the five of cups in reverse wants forgiveness right so the disregard for skills is the unappreciation that this guy showed you in the first place woman whatever it is for you okay whatever it is for you Th what they showed you in the past was utter and complete and total disrespect total disrespect right there you were you guys were grooving um i don't feel like maybe you were like in like this big huge love relationship yet but you guys were grooving right you were grooving you were feeling it it was a good thing and then here comes this queen of wands and your person's like huh and there was a total and complete disregard for your presence for your value for your place and that's what broke your heart that's what broke your heart and you just packed your shit and you left right you're like fuck this i know my value i know my value i'm surprised we haven't seen the emperor the empress yet i know my value and this ain't it it ain't here that's what happened right so disregard for skills all over the place disrespect okay disrespect disrespect so he disrespected you he the king of wands in reverse disrespected you right disrespected you now they want to come out of spiritual poverty right and have a new beginning and a new journey the dickhead king of wands reunite and reconcile with the six of cups and get forgiveness with the five of cups right dual purpose card right here now they want to transition right now they want to transition into again right this card is also about a breakdown in communication so this tells me that y'all probably haven't talked in a good minute right probably have not talked in a good minute whoa prince cups there he is right coming in he's converted from the king of wands in reverse dickhead to the knight in shining armor the prince of cups right and he's coming in he's in touch with his emotions he's in touch with his feelings he's in touch with his intuition and he wants to share his feelings with you he because it is a prince of cups right Two of Wands wants to make some progress, wants to move on down into the future, right? Wants to make some progress. Taurus is in the Seven of Cups like, oh, hell no. What is this? Confusion, indecision, choices, options, right? Wishful thinking, illusion, fantasy. Taurus is like, oh, 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 oh. right? Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing manifesting. No long-term plan going on here between the two of you. And now they want this, right? As a matter of fact, not just nothing manifesting, but really nothing manifesting because this is a misalignment of values, a breakup of a significant relationship. Breakup. Doesn't have to be love, really. But a breakup and yin yin the moon energy right just completely and totally struggling with your subconscious mind lots of fear lots of doubt lots of anxiety can't see things clearly right you're just really in for me this moon card is when you need to go into the hermit energy right but it's not here but nevertheless this moon card fear anxiety struggling with your subconscious mind about this communication that's coming into you about any kind of energetic shift in this relationship why well, here we go again here we go again because of a third party situation with the queen of wands again i mean this is like the third time this relationship has shown up in this reading right 
Queen of Wands in reverse to the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, I do want to say that this could go a couple of different ways, right? N number one, third party situation, period, done deal, right? But this Queen of Wands, it can be the third party situation, the third, the third person, right? But this Queen of Wands also tells me that perhaps this third party situation and your jealousy, your resentment and your jealousy from what happened in the past, right? And ain't nothing wrong with being jealous. And I don't like the word jealous because the jealous, possessive. Okay, possessive. I like possessive better than jealous because jealous is like wanting what somebody else has, right? And I rarely find myself coveting what somebody else has in relationships or in anything, honestly, but in a relationship, right? I don't ever say, God, I want that for myself. How can I get that for myself? I want that. I want what they have. Because if this bitch wants to hold on, wants to grab onto my man, I sure as hell ain't jealous of her because she's the dumbass, right? Because if he's going to do that to me, he's eventually going to do that to her. It's a pattern. It's a behavior. Usually that stuff doesn't happen one time around, right? So the jealousy and the possessiveness and the whole issue that this three of cups relationship caused in the first place, right? You can't seem to get over that. And I don't blame you. Princess of Cups in reverse. This third party situation caused you to completely and totally shut off any desire to create anything with this person like a light switch boom shut it off shut those feelings right off queen of swords in reverse because you were pissed you were pissed six of wands now there's victory progress and success being offered in the situation ace of swords some some truth right Hold on, I have to lay these cards out so I can see them. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So some truth is spoken. Some mental clarity is gained and some truth is spoken. About your withdrawal. About your withdrawal. Because for some reason, I get the feeling that maybe this surprised the person that you were with, right? This King of Wands character. I think it surprised them that you left. I don't know why, but I think it did. I think they expected you just to like be okay with it for some reason. Don't know. But there's some truth that's spoken about the withdrawal to the Princess of Swords in reverse about the um, all talk, no action, undelivered promises about all the bullshit, okay? All the bullshit that was said that never happened because this person had a straying eye and Taurus was like, nope, ain't doing it. Ace of Wands, right? He want he, because it's the King of Wands, he's coming up, wants um, to take passionate action. He wants an inspired, passionate, new beginning between the two of you. Exploration, discovery, let's get together, let's have a drink, let's shoot pool, let's have coffee, let's go to the park, whatever your thing is, right? Let's go do this. Let's talk to each other. Let's, let's explore, let's discover what we've missed between us. Who wants to do this? The Emperor and the King of Swords. <laughs> One in the same in my book, right? One in the same in my book. This is half Aries, half Scorpio for me. This is half Aries, half Scorpio. You may be dealing with an Aries. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. You may not be dealing with either one of them. doesn't matter. The signs are irrelevant. I'm here to tell you in a real tarot card reading where you're talking to somebody that is psychic or channeling or clairaudient or clairvoyant, whatever, whatever their thing is, right? Signs are irrelevant. They do not matter. Okay? Okay. 
So you may be dealing with one of these guys, you may not be, but nevertheless, you are dealing with one of these guys, right? So the emperor, this is the card of Aries. This is about um, the establishment, the structure, the authority of your life. This is a, this guy is a call to action card as well, right? So that tells me that this king of wands, this smirky little king of wands that's sitting there, right? Watching, probably has been watching you for a good minute. Um, he is um, actually growing some backbone and coming forward as the emperor, right? So he's going to grow some backbone and he's going to come forward as the emperor. And he's going to say, Taurus, forgive me. Taurus, I fucked up. Taurus, I really love you. Taurus, let's do this again. Oh, look, this creates a tower moment. Holy fuck a moly. This is a tower moment, right? And I don't want to hear nothing in the comments about my swearing. If you don't like it, go to another channel, okay? I hope that you stay. But I am not going to tone myself down. This is my house. This is my front room that you're in. And if you don't like the way I talk, you can go to somebody else's house, okay? Love you. Want you to stay. But that's just the way it is. So holy fuck a moly. The tower card. This is a this is like a, a tower moment right tower moment no foresight total lack of foresight didn't see this coming you probably didn't taurus you probably did not see this coming because it's been so long with the prince of pentacles right it's been so long i don't think you saw it coming you had a lack of foresight you did not see it coming the eight of pentacles in reverse talks about um disengaging lacking ambition or focus La lacking ambition or focus right you guys weren't engaging in any way whatsoever right focus okay it's not the lack of ambition it would be the focus part right you're not you haven't been focused on this you've been trying to go about your business doing your thing and you're just not you're not obsessing about this I, at least I hope you're not obsessing and God don't watch, don't binge watch YouTube tarot card readings. Please don't do that. That is so bad for the mental. Please do not do that. So bad for the mental. Okay. So anyway, you guys have been totally disengaged, right? Totally disengaged. You didn't see this coming. It's been a long time. You've been totally disengaged and then boom death in reverse comes in, right? Now it's requiring, it's requiring some kind of transformation. An ending, a change, a transformation. Death in reverse is about resistance to change. And I think the resistance to change is evident all over this whole reading, right? But nevertheless, the wheel in reverse. This is about um, the end of a cycle. Ending cycles, okay? It's about intentionally ending cycles. So you're going to end this cycle to the world card. This is accomplishment. This is an end of the cycle that you were in with this person one way or another, right? One way or another. Because um, if you get back with this person, it ends the cycle. If you don't get back with the person, you get the closure, the apology, and it ends the cycle, right? So either way, it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Either way, it's a cycle closure. What's the outcome? Don't know. Don't know what the outcome is. Don't know. Let me throw some of these cards. Let's see, what deck haven't I used? I haven't used this one. Let me throw some of these cards. Let's see. Spirit, what's the outcome for Taurus? What's the outcome for Taurus? What, what's the outcome if Taurus chooses to forgive and forget? What's the outcome if Taurus chooses to forgive and forget? What would, what's the outcome? Is it all going to work out? Is it all going to be good? Is the King of Wands going to be a dick again? So many. <laughs> well, 
three of pentacles to the sun in reverse this is saying that you could get teamwork and collaboration but don't be overly optimistic about it right go into it gingerly go into it slowly do not invest 100 percent and see how things work out what else spirit what else is your advice for taurus what else is your advice for Taurus? What else is your advice for Taurus? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Make sure you have some clarity with the swords in reverse. Get the Ace of Swords in reverse. Make sure you have some clarity before you go all in with the Ten of Pentacles. Make sure there is communication with the princess of swords to the six of cups in reverse so it's so you're not in an unrealistic situation okay so you're not in an unrealistic situation so there can be gingerly do some teamwork and collaboration right don't be overly optimistic right get some mental clarity get some mental clarity um about what's on the table with the ten of pentacles right make sure there's communication with the princess of swords so you don't find yourself in an unrealistic situation what else is your advice spirit whoa huh hold on okay so, if you take inspired action with the Prince of Wands, you're going to need strength with the Strength card, right? Because of the Ten of Swords, because of what happened in the past, it took a long time for you to heal from that with Temperance in Reverse. You still harbor some past resentment, but you're open to change with the Five of Swords in reverse. Remember that you were left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. We have, so advice, right? Finishing, final thoughts, right? Final thoughts. <laughs> okay. Think hard with the Hangman in reverse. Think hard. Before you manifest with the alchemist, the magician, a new beginning and a new journey. Think hard before you, before you manifest a quantum leap in your life. And that's your advice. Isn't that cool, though? They're not going to tell you what to do. They, and, and there's no way that they can possibly tell you what's going to happen in the future because there's so much free will. I mean, free will abounds, right? There's no way they're going to know what you're going to do or who else is going to do what in this reading. But nevertheless, um, they give you the guidance that you need to make your own decisions. So anyway, very cool. I love the tarot cards. I love you guys. If you're new to this channel, do me a solid, drop a like and subscribe if you want to subscribe. Um, drop a like anyway, even if you're not new to the channel. Eh? And um, of course, if there's anybody that this could possibly help, please share it with them, okay? And namaste.